It's got Margot Martindale in it. I'm gonna see it. Hey everybody, I'm Gino Reynolds from The Real Gino. Today we're going to be taking a look at an indie film called The Holler, starring John Krasinski, Margot Martindale, Shalto Copley, and Anna Kendrick. A man returns to his small hometown after learning his mother has fallen ill and is about to undergo surgery. While for the most part I enjoyed this movie, I think this is one of those movies that is practically saved by its performances. I found the overall story to be a little sloppy and spread too thin. It took a bit to figure out where the movie took place, but a road sign tells you that it's Ohio, even though oddly enough this movie was filmed in Mississippi. The main story of Margot Martindale's character being sick is the strongest of the few different plots going on. The other plots, while eventually fitting into the main narrative, don't get enough time to all fully develop. For example, there's a plot involving John Krasinski's character's ex-girlfriend still having feelings for him. We get to see her once in the movie, and while her name keeps coming up later, we never really see her again. As I said a bit ago, the performances are what made this one watchable despite its flaws. I don't care what the movie is, if Margot Martindale is in it, I'm going to watch it. And as always, she is great in this. Her performance is funny, serious, and heartbreaking all in one. Krasinski is fine, but his character arc is predictable and a bit bland. Even though I don't have quite the same issue as Charlotte Copley's character as a divorced father, I could identify with his story. Anna Kendrick plays a somewhat paranoid girlfriend the way you would expect her to. I thought Richard Jenkins was just okay at first, but as the movie went on, his character grew on me as things started to get serious. I would have liked a bit more of Charlie Day's character, but only because I love Charlie Day. The plot itself is a bit by the numbers and predictable. There are certain things that happen in the movie that lead to an obvious outcome. That being said, the performances of the actors keeps you in it until the end. Martindale's performance alone makes this small town dramedy worth taking a look at. But remember, it's only just one guy's opinion. Oh, and another guy's opinion, pretzels and ice cream is awesome. As always, thank you so much for watching. If you like what you've seen here, please subscribe to the Real Gino YouTube channel. Give this video a thumbs up and feel free to comment below. Until next time, I'm Gino Reynolds from The Real Gino.